Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add custom music and I'm going to show you how to adjust the music in CapCut Pro. So let's get into the video. Before we get into the video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment because it really helps out with the channel. So let's get into the video. As you can see on my timeline here, I got a regular video right around here. And I have also imported custom music that I have on my Envato membership. So the, the way you import custom music is you want to click on the import at the top left and you want to click on import find your track double click on it or press click on it once and then click on import if you wanted to use their stock audio you come over here you could use sound effects music copyright you could also check if anything is copyright by just clicking on here as well as you can look for uh, tiktok trending sounds or brand music but in this case, I'm going to upload my own music, which you see here, which is in my media bin. And this is my media bin right here. And all I'm going to do is just left click on it. All I'm going to do is left click on this and drag it down like this. So I'm just going to drag it down and you can see that, you know, if I wanted to, I could drag down too. If I wanted to undo this, I'm going to press command Z. And once you have it here, you could just bring the playhead to the beginning, press the space bar and listen to how it sounds. And you could see, you could, and you could hear how it sounds, right? It, it doesn't sound nice. Usually, typically when you have a video, music should fade in slowly. And right now you could also tell that the music, music is too loud. Let's say you had someone that was speaking here. You probably need to isolate the voice. And when you come over here, you could play around with the options of normalize, n normalizing the loudness, enhancing the voice if needed, or you could do an isolation of the voice. Okay, so this is going to really help out with having the speaker at a higher percentage rate or decibel level than the actual audio. But if you wanted to do this manually, you can. So let's listen to this. As you can tell, it's a little too loud. So you just come over to the playhead where the music is and see how I just left clicked on it. And now I can reduce the noise like this and listen to it again and press spacebar. Might be too loud, so I'm just gonna move it down. But I'm just gonna move this up just so we can kind of play around with the next feature here. So typically the way video should start, it should blend in smoothly and if you look at this circle over here on the, the left and we also have one on the right a lot of video editing editing softwares have have a, a fade in and a fade out option usually you can just press it and it's a fade in fade out but you can see um we don't have that here so what you need to do is just click on this circle and drag it to the left okay so you can see how it's starting small it's going to fade in and now you, what you want to do is you come over to the right side and you want to fade out. So as we're getting closer towards the end of the video, the music should slowly fade lower and lower. And then the opposite as it's starting. So let's listen to this. Let me just move it down a little bit and we can listen. To me, I think that's still a little fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fade that in more and take that in more. And it should look like this. And it hopefully it should sound good this way. Let's listen to it again. And that's it. And that's how you work with audio and music with CapCut Pro. So if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you in the next one.